It was late in the evening and I was getting ready for bed and I opened the bedroom door because my cats were making a lot of noise in the hallway and I was going out to shush them because my kids were already sleeping. When I noticed they were jumping at something, all of a sudden, whoosh, a bat flew by my head and I yelled and I must have scared it because the bat flew downstairs and disappeared. It made an encore appearance a few times over the next week, but we were never able to catch it. So what did I do? Fortunately, I knew about rabies. Rabies is caused by a virus and is a type of zoonotic infection. That just means that people get it from animals, but people don't give it to other people. I knew that bats carry rabies and while it's rare, rabies is deadly if left untreated. Bats and other wild animals are the most common way people in the U.S. get infected. In other countries though, up to 95% of the people die from rabies, got it from a dog. So don't pet unfamiliar dogs, especially when you're traveling abroad. If someone is exposed to rabies, the clock starts ticking to get treatment. I took my kids to the doctor the next day and the doctor talked with our local health department. Since my kids were sleeping when the bat was flying back and forth between their rooms, the specialist at the health department was worried that the bat may have come in contact with one or both of them. Rabies is spread through saliva or spit. Since we couldn't catch the bat to have it tested, the decision was made for both children to get post-exposure prophylaxis or PEP. PEP is one of the few vaccines that work after you get infected. This is because once the virus gets in your body, it begins to make copies and moves towards your brain. Once it reaches the brain, it's too late for treatment. That leaves a short window to determine if there was an exposure. PEP has two parts, an antibody to the rabies virus that fights the infection for us, while the second part, which is a vaccine, has time to cause an immune response. It is highly effective as long as it started right away. To keep your family safe, remember, don't pet unfamiliar dogs. Keep your own pets up to date on their rabies vaccine and report and stay away from any animals that are behaving weirdly. And if you get bit or have contact with a wild animal, consult your health, health department right away to see if PEP is needed. My kids are fine and we gave my cats an extra booster of rabies vaccine just in case.